it started raining and it didn't stop raining for four months. Welcome back to another episode of Gerky's Garage. If you know what the clip was, <laughs> I'll probably put it in there. Uh, but back on today's episode of the wild, wild west of Facebook Marketplace, we find ourselves in quite the predicament of a three-step multi-deal. Yeah, one, bring trade item. Two, drive to location. Three, inquire new project. So, what we're gonna be trading today, we're gonna have some people that are gonna be kinda sad about this one. 1973 home white T8, the Nate Horse Briggs and scrap them. You know, it's like a person asks himself, do you really need to mow your grass or are more projects better? Everybody ready for an adventure? Oh, he's got his damn tea. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. So uh, we got about a, what do we got? A 300 mile trip ahead of us? Yeah, about six hours. Six hours? Three hours. Um. Well, hours for every 50 miles. Well, I suppose. Yeah, it's gonna be a while. But we'll get there. Hopefully the guy ain't too disappointed in this thing. It's a sweetheart and a half. It's got all four hubcaps. It's pretty good. When you're starting a video walking around the lawnmower and uh, you're going to get something else. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's how it goes. So, uh, no further ado, let's leave the uh, the swamp lands of my yard because we got four million inches of rain. And I ain't kidding ya. Look at that, it's over the road in like six places. So, nothing to it but to do it. So uh, better gets to driving and we'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, we're about 125 miles in right now, going across the countryside, you know. What do you got to say, son? I don't know what to say. I think you got to say, well, you got your tea. Remember the last adventure with old Earl of Plymouth? Yeah. Yeah, you got your tea. But yeah, we're about uh, 125 miles into this adventure, and uh, well, we'll get back to you once we get to our destination of the sorts. Or something like that. Ooh, here's a, here's a pickup truck up here and a half. There's a 74 Chevy K20 sitting down there in the trees. Yeah, that'll be a future episode. One of these days, we'll get her. You can't even see her, she's in the trees. Oh yeah. Well, we got the... Oh. Linda, would you shut up already? All right, so we got the concrete jungle here and we have our purchase on the back of the trailer. Oh, good. Quiet. I'll show you that when we get home. But yeah, or we get chicken. I don't know yet. I guess I'm buying supper or something like that. In a quarter mile, keep left at the fork to stay on I 35E South. Is that so? I suppose. Okay, proceed with shenanigans. Right, buddy? Right on. Right on. Yeah. Oh, and just like that, we're home. Well, it's actually the next day, but uh, you know, right back to where we're at. Uh, we started out the adventure yesterday with an empty trailer on a garden tractor right here. I took that garden tractor, I made a financial decision that will probably um, put me into debt. But this is what we got. We got a 1976 Ford Courier. When I mean she's a sweetheart, I mean she's a sweetheart. So, probably asking yourself, what are you gonna do with that Ford Courier? And well, I'm gonna do the same thing I do with everything else. So I'm gonna get it running and then, you know, it, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Something like that. But yeah. 1976 Ford Courier factory. I think it's a Sasquatch four-wheel drive conversion. So that's neat. Um, Dana 30 in the front, as far as I can see, I think. I'm pretty sure. Dana 30. Something like that. Yeah. Drum brake front. So it's a little old. Yeah. Perfect. Unit does got an engine. I think it's got the original, um, what would it be? Original Mazda rear end in it. Kind of looks like a little four nine inch. Center with the the midsection, you know, midsection race car. Yeah. Anyway, see if we can get the hood open. 
Oh, all the wasps. Oh, where's the hood release? There it is. Opens up just like a sports car. Just like every other mini truck in the 70s did. Oh, look at that. As far as I can see, this is 1.8 liters of pure Mazda power. Same as what a Chevy Love would have had factory. 1.8. Isuzu. Yeah, same difference. But anyways, um, trailer. Oh, okay then. Someone had it running at one point, but they stole all the plug wires off it. It does turn over. I did check that. And uh, we're missing our slave cylinder. So we'll have to figure that. Oh, slave cylinder's here. Oh, missing our master cylinder. Excuse me, master cylinder. So you need a master cylinder for a 76 Ford Courier. What else are we missing? Are we missing throttle cable? Um, They got... Okay, I don't know what they got going on here. We'll dive into that in another episode. Once we get it running, you know, we got to try to do that. Um, now, yeah, airbox goodies. Someone also pulled the transfer case out at one point because they did a clutch and they never put it back in. So I'm missing my center drive shaft because this would have a divorce transfer case. Missing my center drive shaft and my transfer case. But I got both long drive shafts. So that's, you know, let's step in the right direction. And they're in the truck. They are. But yeah. So. Oh yeah, our dent's a little rough. I, I just call it the roof a dent. Yep, the roof is a dent. Oof to me. So I guess that's where we'll wrap this episode up for now. Until the next time when we get back into this little gal. And uh, yeah. We get her running, we get her driving, we get her doing Ford Courier four-wheel drive things. Because... I have four couriers up there on my list for vehicles, so yeah, there she is in all of her glory. Just majestic. Just majestic. So alright folks, uh, if you like this episode of me going on my little ramble about getting a Ford Courier, trading it for a home light lawn tractor, uh, make sure to subscribe, like, share, send to your grandma or your brother or your uncle or your cousin third once removed i don't know something mosquitoes and yeah so what was i gonna say i was gonna say something keep turning them wrenches and uh maybe one day you'll be just like me making bad financial decisions on the marketplace just be pooping with your fingers the next thing you know they're telling you to come get it on accident oh yeah it's fine whatever you got your mom yelling in the back seat. But it is what it is. Because when you end up coming home with something cool like this on the trailer. That matches that. Any truck mafia. Even dad ain't mad. So. Gotta think on the brighter side of things. Oh yeah.